Keeping your garage warm in the winter months can allow you to have a comfortable workspace and a warm place to park vehicles, and store temperature sensitive equipment. But what's the best way to heat your garage without breaking the bank? A good garage heater is going to cost a decent amount of money for both the equipment and installation. Depending on the type of heater you get, you might be able to install it yourself and save some money if you have prior experience. That being said, unless you want to use a small space heater, you will have to put some money up front and purchase a proper heater. Forced air garage heaters are large, hanging units that use a powerful fan to distribute warm air throughout the building. These units can be fully electric, or they can run on natural gas or propane. Gas-fired garage heaters will have lower operation costs than electric units, but electric heaters don't have the carbon monoxide risk of gas heaters. If you choose to use a gas heater in your garage, you need to have a functioning carbon monoxide detector to alert you to any malfunctions that might pose a danger. Mini splits are a popular choice for garage heaters. These energy efficient heat pumps can provide both heating and cooling on a single system. They are easy to install and are fully electric, but they don't have the same high operation costs seen with traditional electric heaters. This is because they use the refrigeration cycle to transfer existing heat rather than create it. For climates with harsh winters and sub-zero temperatures, the correct model must be chosen for adequate heating ability. Mini splits come in a variety of temperature ratings, and making sure you get the right one is key. The units made for operation at lower temperatures will be more expensive, but they are necessary if you are going to rely solely on the mini split for heat. Wood stoves can be an effective source of heat for garages and sheds. Wood stoves are incredibly cost effective if you are able to source your own firewood. However, they are only ideal for use in rural areas where the wood smoke can easily dissipate into the air. They also require constant refueling when in use. Some garage owners choose alternative forms of heat, such as in-floor heating, solar heating, and hydronic heating. These systems are often connected to the home and costly to install, so we won't be covering all of them here. However, we will quickly talk about some ways you can reduce heating costs in your garage, no matter what type of heater you have. 1. Improve insulation Garage heaters can waste a lot of energy trying to maintain the temperature of a poorly insulated building. That's money that's going straight out through the walls. One of the cheapest and most effective garage insulation is simple spray foam. You would likely have a better result using a professional company to do the work, but you can do this yourself if you're concerned about costs. 2. Seal windows and doors Another big area of heat loss is through windows and doors. Garage doors and windows aren't as well insulated as the ones in your home, so you'll have to do a little work to make sure they are sealed well enough to keep heat in. You can also cover your garage window for the winter and create a barrier to further reduce heat loss costs. 3. Keep your garage heater clean One of the biggest problems HVAC techs see with garage heaters comes from airborne dirt. Garage heaters are exposed to more dirt, dust, and dander than the furnace in your home. Keeping your garage clean will help reduce the dirt that gets trapped in the heater, but you should make a point to clean your heater regularly. Even taking an air compressor or leaf blower and regularly blowing the dirt out of the fins would be a big help. Most garage heaters are forgotten about until the damage is already done. Often, they are in locations that are difficult to access, or they aren't used often. Keep them clean and have them regularly serviced and you'll be ahead of the game. 4. Choose an energy efficient model. If budget allows, choose the most efficient model you can if you're looking for low operation costs. While energy efficient equipment will have a higher upfront cost, your utility bills will be lower. If you choose a type of heater that lasts 15 to 20 years, like a forced air unit or a mini split, the system will pay for itself over time. We also have a free cheat sheet with 28 tricks that can help you save on your electricity, heating, or cooling bill each month. Click the link in the description to download.